Hi, it's fish tank update time. I'm Cheryl. Hi. It's been a little while since I've had an update. There are a few new things. I've been doing some more studying on the internet. I have added a sponge filter to the intake. Ta-da! Increases uh, surface area for biological goodies by a bajillion. I also replaced the, and of course the lid won't come off now that I want to do it, in my cartridge I put in bio rings. I'm going to put some filter floss in there too just to catch goodies. I've got tons of that in my craft room. And you also may notice the new little hanger on. I've got little sprigs of uh, philodendron cuttings in all three of my tanks now. Um, we're just going to let the roots do their thing in this tank because these things root really easily. You may have also noticed, ta-da, my moss ball gearing up for future plantings. I'm going to want some java moss and I found that at the pet store and it was tied onto the white rock and then I tied, but it was still floating around the tank so I tied that on again to the other rock just to make it float in the position I wanted it and it looks so cool hanging there. I just love it, but we'll just let that sucker grow and the fish seems to seem to love it. If I can zoom in, see that lovely little plant back there? It's growing, we're seeing growth. Now that one with some exposed roots, I did my first major water change in this thing since I put in the new substrate. Yes, I know I should have done it earlier. Bad me. But I did it, and you can see here where I messed up the bottom substrate. I went ahead and pushed it down in just like it was old-timey gravel. You can see right here where I put in the new substrate, and then I did save the old gravel and kept it underwater so the bacteria was still on it, so we weren't completely starting new. But the plants there, and that, now the, I remember I had two plants that were terrarium plants that I bought accidentally. One of them died, but uh, the white ribbon plants, there are two of those, and they seem to be doing pretty well. They're holding their own back there, and we're just going to let them grow. Uh, gearing up here, if I've got a few pieces of of the red plants. I mean, that came in that that gel medium and there was a lot of it so I broke it up and it was very very tiny and there I've seen a good bit of growth on that plant those plants but uh, uh, there's a few floaters of it around and they've got roots on them so I'm just gonna let them float until they get big enough to plant um, I also uprooted this thing accidentally but sort of planted it a little bit better and I'm seeing some not any leaf growth but root growth which is a good thing so we're all just doing really great. Lots of updates, so hopefully the filtration will be a lot better. Um, happy with that. Now going over to the babies. Hello, Willow. You can see Jimmy Johnson is enjoying his his philodendron. I gave him one with a long stem, and the babies are growing. We're getting lots of, now we're seeing enough color on the newbies, the, the newest batch. They're starting to show red, so I'm going to have some that ha, that are uh, more of the velvet swords, like their mommy. And some more like, now the bigger ones are about six weeks old. That one there is about the biggest one, I think. The one in the middle. Oh, there she is. They've got nice coloring on their fins, but they are colored like their daddy, who is a neon sword. And mommy is a red velvet sword. And some of those babies have a lot of good color in them, so I think they're red velvets. But we're going to wait and see on that. Just got a line on some new fish tanks today from a friend who's going to sell them to me cheap. So watch out for the future. We may be getting those... Uh, those shrimp before you know it. Hey, signing off. Love y'all. Bye.